Okay guys, so there's been a whole lot going on since the last video that I made where we read through everything that was coming from Spirit Halloween or at least everything that they told us on the initial release of the names of the new animatronics and I think some of them were just regular props. They gave us a little sneak peek at the Carnival, which I missed. That was just like an 8 second video. They gave us another 8 second video of Art the Clown, that new animatronic. And then today I was out running around making another video for my other channel channel running around to all the stores well at least a good handful of them in the area to see who had what Halloween items available already in June and I was pleasantly surprised so if you want to see that video make sure you bounce over to that Nate guy on Halloween and check it out that one is up right now but for now what we're going to do is check out all the new sneak peeks from Spirit Halloween. I have tried to ignore it today, but so many people are putting so many pictures and videos out that I have caught a couple of glimpses. So let's go on over to the website here. Front and center, we can see Welcome to the Carn Evil. Enter if you dare. I assume this is the quick little video here um, that shows just kind of a montage of everything that's coming. So let's check this out. The Carn Evil cast revealed. Yeah, here we go. My friends are going to show you a scary good time. You caught my eye. <laughs> Here's Art the Clown. Jump right up. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Carnival. He has one eye! With this ring! I do. Strange that you and I have never spoken on the phone. Yes! Oh, very cool. Okay. Guys, holy crap. I know there's videos out here breaking this one down. This is the first time that I've watched it. Uh, man, there's a lot of stuff to look at in there. This looks like it's going to be an awesome season. And I got to say, the ghost face animatronic, I am so glad that he actually has uh, at least what sounds like dialogue from the actual movie. Which movie? I don't know. But um, let's go ahead and see what we can see here. It looks like they're giving us um, a look at, oh my gosh, all of them maybe? Wow, there's a lot here. All right, well, let's just go ahead and start with Ghostface. I'm really excited to see the Ghostface. As you can see behind me, you guys know I love Ghostface. Let's go ahead and look at that one first. 6.2 foot Deluxe Ghostface animatronic. Not available yet, coming soon. Wow, um, okay. I like how he has the face. This must be based on Scream 7. Are we on Scream 7 now? Holy crap. I can't be mad at this. <laughs> I like the mask. I like I like how he looks already. Um, let's look at a couple more pictures here. Okay, I like how his head is kind of tilted. I'm going to find out in a second here if that's kind of a motion that he makes. Got his arm up. Arm is still up. Arm's up in that picture. Arm is up in that picture. Arm is up in that picture. That's actually a pretty cool one right there, that side view. Wait a minute, what? So do we get interchangeable heads? I haven't read this yet. Just like a scene from your favorite scary movie, the 6-2 Deluxe Ghost Face features a head-tilting motion and an arm that stabs and jabs. That is cool. In a frenzied motion. Make your ghost face look like they've just finished slashing and gashing their next victims. Um, okay, let's see. This deluxe animatronic comes to life to speak iconic phrases from the film and makes slashing and screaming noises. All right, that's definitely awesome. And yes, it comes with an interchangeable face. One aged ghost face mask and one blood spattered ghost face mask. So here's the aged one and here's the blood splattered one. How cool is that? All right, where is, don't we have a video of this guy? 
All right, I know I've seen some videos posted on YouTube of him, but there is not a link right here on the uh, the Spirit website. So I'm not gonna watch the video right now, but it does say down here that he does say lines from the movie. So I'm really excited about that. The other thing is, it looks like he comes with a regular knife and a machete. So apparently those are interchangeable as well. So this will be really interesting. I'm really excited to see what he does and, and just hear him and everything. Um, but there he is, that's just a quick look at the ghost face. So let's go ahead back here and take a look at the next one. Let's go ahead and look at Emily here. So Emily looks awesome, 5.8 feet, so she's just shy of six feet tall. Emily animatronic from The Corpse Bride. We got a couple pictures here and we do have a video with this one. So let's just check out the pictures quick. There's from the front. It's a pretty good looking animatronic. <laughs> yeah, a couple pictures. Oh, I like how her ribs are showing. There's one from the back. And there's one with uh, Victor there. So let's go ahead back up here to the video. And here we go with the video. With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. You oh. kept your promise. You set me free. Now I can do the same for you. I can't even hear what she's saying. So, it appears... And if I would read this, I would know. Um, it appears that they actually speak to each other. This Emily animatronic comes to life with eyes that blink open and close, side to side, moving torso. I did notice her mouth does not move. Speaks various phrases from the movie. Pair this animatronic with her beloved Victor, sold separately, to watch them interact and listen to the macabre love story unfold right in front of you just like in the film so this is pretty cool they are sold separately but you can pair them and they interact with each other that is really really cool so on that note let's go ahead back and let's check out victor so here he is these are really good looking guys he's six feet tall so he's just a little bit taller than emily here's a picture of them together again um, there's the front, the side. I like how he's holding the ring. Here's another front view. Here's the back. And let's go ahead and watch the uh, the video here. Probably just going to be the same one we just watched, but... With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. Yeah, it's just the same video that we just watched when we were looking at Emily. Um, I'm having a hard time hearing what she's saying because she's saying it very quietly and the bubbles of death back here behind me are kind of loud actually. Oh look, we got the ham hock back there too. <laughs> so those are really cool animatronics there. Um, let's go ahead and look at the next one, Art the Clown. These all say coming soon and I don't see a price right off the bat. Oh, wait a minute. As I roll down to the bottom of the page here, I can see recently viewed and it tells us the price. So the ghost face is $279.99. That's really not too bad for him. Emily is $299 and Victor is $279. I wonder why there's a $20 difference in there between those two. They probably figure Emily is going to be more popular. So let's go ahead and roll back up here. We got Art the Clown. He is six foot two inches from the movie Terrifier. And I'll be honest with you guys, I have never seen Terrifier. He definitely looks terrifying, but I've actually never seen the movie Terrifier. I like how he's got his little horn there. <laughs> There's a picture of him from the side. Apparently he comes with these sunglasses. I mean, he's pretty good looking there. Let's go ahead and watch the video. And like I said, you know, I, I can't really compare. I, I can't really say, well, he is or isn't like in the movie because I haven't seen the movie, so. I 
Okay. <laughs> I mean, I like him. I think he looks really cool. Waving one hand and doing the horn with the other. Um, yeah, I don't know if he actually talks in the movie. So, you know, I don't know if it's disappointing that this one doesn't talk or if that's just how it should be. So um, I'm definitely going to have to see that movie. But there's a quick look at the Terrifier Art the Clown animatronic. And, of course, let's look at Michael Myers here. I'm excited to see this one. And he does look different from the other animatronics, the other Michael Myers animatronics. Six feet, three inches. Uh, let's see. It says he plays Halloween-themed music, and there's breathing sounds. <laughs> Which, I mean, what else are you going to expect from a Michael Myers uh, animatronic? Oh, uh, he does not have a video. So we just have pictures to go by. Hmm... Not sure what I think of that face. I am not a fan of how the Michael Myers mask is different in every single Halloween movie. And I understand why. I know it's licensing. Um, but, man, with all this AI now, I wish somebody would go back through every Halloween movie from 2 on up and replace his face with the original mask. Because it just... I don't know. When it's not the original mask, it's really hard for me to see. There's a picture from the back. He is covered with blood. There's a picture from the side, from the front. And there's another from the front. Now, at this angle, the mask does look better to me. But looking at it from the front there... I mean, what the heck is going on with that? It's just like a round head. Very strange. And there is blood coming from his eyes, too. So, all right, on to the next one. The main attractions. This is the tough part for me, guys, because I really, really like to just go in the store and see these things for the first time in person in the store. And I used to be able to do that, but with how many people are making spirit videos now and posting pictures online, you just can't avoid it. So let's go ahead and take a look. We got the Ringmaster first. I'll tell you what, I'm really excited to see Bobby Stearns there. But let's go ahead and look at the Ringmaster. Seven feet tall. Oh, by the way, Art the Clown is $199 and Michael Myers is $279. So already, so far, these prices aren't too bad. Seven foot Ringmaster animatronic. We do not have a video with this one either. And I know I could go onto YouTube and there are people who have videos um, of these guys, but if it's not on the website, we're just not going to look at it right now. Um, I really like the way this guy looks. I love the gold and the red. I love the way his face looks. And I'm going to be honest, he kind of looks like Shaq. Shaq the Ringmaster. <laughs> I mean, tell me that doesn't look like Shaq right there. Oh my gosh. He is pretty cool though, wow. I really wish we could see a video of him right now. This will have to do for now though, he's pretty cool. Alright, let's uh, go on back to the next one. We got Nibbles the Clown, alright. No video on this one either. I like the way he looks, I like his sucker. I like that spiral sucker. I, I, I've said it a million times before, I'm not a big clown fan, but I mean, if this is what we get, then this is what we get. And I mean, they're still cool. I still love the craft. I still love the animatronics no matter what. So I do like the way this guy looks. I do like his outfit, how he has, you know, different stripes on this leg and then on this arm and the other solid. And he looks pretty cool. He looks like a court jester. Yeah, I'd really like to see a video of him, but maybe I'll go back through these um, as the videos come available, and I will uh, do individual videos on them, just like reaction videos. But let's go ahead and look at Bobby Strings here. I gotta say, I really, really like this guy. He looks awesome. Unfortunately, once again, we do not have a video with him, but let's take a look. He is a marionette, and a lot of people said they thought that was what he was going to be. Honestly, when I first heard the name Bobby Strings, I didn't know what to think. I thought he was going to be playing a guitar or something. Look at that. That, <laughs> that is really cool. I love this guy. And he is an animatronic. 
7.7 7 feet. So he's seven and a half feet tall. I mean, not him himself, but his whole like contraption is seven feet tall that he's hanging on. So cool. I really like this guy. Yeah, when I go through and do these individually, guys, I'll read through the whole description and everything. Right now, I just kind of want to run through them and, and take a look and, uh, and react to them. But let's see, this says... He's, he's got a good handful of sayings, and it looks like they're long, too. I'm not even going to say them, because I, I, I don't know what his voice sounds like or anything. I'm really, really excited to find out, though. All right, Bobby Strings, that one of my favorites so far. Barnaby the Bear. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. So very cool. He's standing on a ball, <laughs> like balancing on a ball. And from the video, I, I seem to remember him, you know, making the motions like he's balancing. Product sounds, he makes growling and roaring noises. What else would you expect from a bear? Here's a look from the front. I like his ball, how it's gold. His eyes light up. Wow, what a look on that face, man. Very cool, I really like this guy. Barnaby the bear, six feet tall. And just rolling down to the bottom here again. Um, Nibbles is $2.99. Bobby Strings is $310. That kind of surprises me that he's more expensive than these other ones. But he's awesome, so I'm probably going to buy him. Cotton Candy Dan. That's another one I was looking forward to seeing, and we do have a video from this one. I'll tell you what I like first off, though. He only has one eye. <laughs> that is hilarious to me. Look at this guy. Red hair reminds me of Elmo. And it looks like he's got a guy in a big tub of cotton candy and he's like churning it. What the heck? Here's a picture from the side. I wonder if he's supposed to look like he's wearing a mask rather than like that's his actual face. Because it looks like it's kind of bulky, but I mean, it's cool though. It actually reminds me of um, Chuck E. Cheese animatronics with the way the face looks. Let's go ahead to the video here. He is six feet tall, $329.99. Wait a minute. He's actually available right now. You can buy him right now from the website. That's surprising. Okay, let's go to the uh, video here. Yum, yum, yum! Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's not. <laughs> One thing I'll tell you though, it'll do more than rot your teeth out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope... I hope that it actually makes that, like, crunching sound at the end when he's pushing his head down into the cotton candy. That was pretty cool. I don't know how many sayings he has. It looks like one, two, three, four, five sayings. He's pretty cool. And like I said, he is available right now on the website. I'm not going to buy him right now, but um, he is a pretty awesome animatronic. All right, let's keep on looking here, guys. We have oddities and curiosities. And it looks like we've got eight of these to look at in this category, the Gravestone Ghoul. Alright. <laughs> in memory of our dear friend on the, uh, on the headstone there. I love the way this guy looks. It reminds me of Poltergeist, actually. A mix between Poltergeist and Creepshow. $179.99. He's actually available right now, too. Three feet tall. We do have a video. Here's a picture from the front. Uh, front kind of from the side. And here's from the other side. And there's the regular picture. Let's go ahead to the video here. Oh, wow. Oh, 
he thrashes around a lot more than I expected. That is pretty cool, actually. I, I Actually, I didn't expect him to thrash around at all. I thought he was going to be like some kind of a slow back and forth thing, or like rising up and then back down, but I like that. I like how he's thrashing around. Alright, next up we got the Night Terror. Six feet tall, $99.99, and he's available right now. We do have a video with this one as well. Let's go ahead and look at the pictures. Like a shrouded pumpkin, and, and he's... I don't think that's just dark. I think he's supposed to be like a like a charred pumpkin or something. He, his, his hands and his pumpkin face look like they're really dark. Almost like lava. There's from the side back. Here's a close-up of the face. And another close-up. Alright, let's go to the video. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's very simple. Um... I don't know if I like it or not. I mean, I, I do, because I like everything that's like, you know, classic Halloween pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. Um, he reminds me of E.T. when you see him from the side and he's got his neck all extended out. How weird is that? I do think it's very cool that they put one out that's a very, very affordable animatronic. $99.99. It's a nice thing to throw in there amongst ones that are in the hundreds, you know? All right, so here we go. <laughs> Wanda Webworth, and she is a big spider. Oh my gosh. Six feet tall. She's animatronic. We don't have a video, unfortunately. But look at the face on that thing. Wow. She looks so cool. Wanda Webworth. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this picture, her mouth is closed. This one, her mouth is open. So we know at least the mouth opens and closes. Product sounds, hisses, and plays spooky noises. I love spiders at Halloween, but I hate real spiders. <laughs> I love the look of this thing, though. All right, coming soon. I don't see a price on this one. Let's go ahead and jump back. We got the Cremator. And he basically looks like death without a face. Oh, he's holding a skull there. We do have a video. Alright, we got a couple pictures here. I like that. I love the way that looks. Alright, let's go on up to the video here. He's $199.99, 6 feet tall. And it looks like he's available right now on the website here. Cross the threshold where the day... Oh, that was very cool. You know what it reminds me of? The Princess Bride. When Fezzik, they're going to storm the castle, and Fezzik has the big cloak on, and then they catch him on fire, and it sounds just like him, too. I guarantee somebody saw the Princess Bride, and they were like, we got to make something like that. Very cool. I like that. All right, next up we got Mac Straw. We got a Hunt former animatronic here. Eight feet tall, almost eight. Seven feet, nine inches. $179.99. He's available right now. He actually looks like the 12-foot witch from Home Depot. He's got his pitchfork there. It looks like he's holding on and, like, hanging up. He has no legs. Uh-oh. Now I don't know whether I should call him Hunt Former or Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Alright, yeah, there he is. Big pitchfork, no legs. There's a close-up of his face. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love the look on his face. Look at that crooked smile. Big teeth. Oh my gosh. He is awesome, and we do have a video, too. $179.99, available right now on the website. Let's check out the video. 
<laughs> is that all he does is laugh? Come on. He looks totally awesome. Tell me they didn't just give him a corny laugh. Product sounds makes laughing, wind, and crow noises. <laughs> That, uh, uh, that's kind of disappointing. Let's watch that one more time. <laughs> Man, I mean, I absolutely love his presentation. I love the way he looks. I love the look on his face. But just that corny laughing with the crow sounds... That reminds me of that cheesy pumpkin guy I got last year from um, Joanne Fabrics. I got him for like 40 bucks because they thought he was broken, which he actually was. I couldn't get him to go back and forth. But he sounds just like that. Just a really corny laugh. Um, crows, wind. Even he, though, has some, uh, some phrases that he says. But this guy, apparently he doesn't have any phrases. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's move on. Next up, we got the Dark Princess. Four feet, eight inches, Dark Princess. Product sounds, makes ghostly whispers, then screams. She's coming soon. Um, we don't have a video of her, but she immediately makes me think of Desmodus. I wonder if she's just another build on him. Um, looks like her arms are out. Do they go up? All right, yeah. Starts at 46 inches tall, then shoots up to her full height of 4 feet 8 inches tall. So I bet you anything she's just a reskin of Desmodus. All right. I mean, I don't hate it. I think she looks pretty cool. But I just know that they had a lot of problems with him last year in the stores. So this will be interesting. Let's roll on down. We got the demonic... Gatekeeper. Wow, we got a lot of stuff to look at here, guys. He's pretty cool looking. Three and a half feet tall. 199. He's available right now. He looks like a, a groundbreaker. All right. We do have a video, so we're going to get to see him in action in a minute here. Looks like he's got some huge hands. Dang. And it looks like he does have some sayings. Let's go ahead and go to the video. <laughs> this is the point of no return. Your cries and screams are futile. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the groundbreakers are not like my favorite thing ever, but it looks like you can hook him up to a fog machine. I like his voice, I like the way he looks. I like that he laughs and he talks, and I love that he has huge hands. So that's very, very cool. All right, next up, <laughs> Giant Death Ray. This guy looks like an alien, man. A mix between an alien and Slender Man. Ten feet tall. He's coming soon. He's not available on the website yet. We got a couple pictures here. Tall and thin... Looks like his chest lights up. We don't have a video for him either. Makes foreboding galactic noises. So we'll have to wait until a video comes out for him. But yeah, there's even a spaceship in the background there. So he is supposed to be some kind of an alien. Alien Slender Man hybrid. Alright, let's roll down here. We got three more to look at. Blast from the past. Alright, let's look at Cerberus. The three-headed dog, $129.99. In stores right now. Well, not in stores, but online right now, $129.99. That surprises me. He has an original uh, tag of $199.99. But yeah, three-headed dog, you hook him up to a fog machine. He was out a couple years ago. I think, um, if I remember correctly, yeah, he, I thought always thought this was weird. He doesn't have back legs. He only has front legs, three heads, and no back legs, so he has no butt. 
But anyways, <laughs> pretty cool one anyway. Next up, the Twitching Banshee. All right. Online only, it says. Six foot Twitching Banshee animatronic. We don't have a video, but we do have pictures. And I mean, you guys have probably seen the videos before because this is a returning prop. I bet you anything she'll pop up in, in one of these stores. Anyway, all right. Twitching Banshee. And then, of course, we have the towering creepy clown. Six and a half feet tall. $229.99 in, in stores. Online right now. And oh, we do have a video for him. So even though we've seen him before in the videos, let's go ahead and watch again. Because I love the towering creepy clown. I'm starting a new juggling act. I'll need a hand from one of you, and a head, and a foot, oh, any part will do! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember going into stores and seeing him set up right alongside uh, Hugs, so I should buy him. <sighs> if I don't, I'm going to regret it. Um, online only... I'm not going to buy him right now, but I probably will end up getting him. So, anyways, there is a look at the Spirit Halloween 2024 Carnival lineup. I don't know if that's everything they're putting out. I think so. Um, but, yeah, as they release the videos, I'll come back and I'll do, like, individual um, videos on each of them. I'm especially excited to see the Ghost Face. I love Ghost Face. And it looks like we have a pretty sweet lineup, so... All right, guys, make sure you're subscribed. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of these and which one is your favorite so far. Whew. I am ready for Halloween 2024.